Hello everybody, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 3.7, part D, in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. There are four ways to solve this example, and thus, four different videos. In this video, the last one of the 3.7 series of videos, we use a continuum shell element for the core and conventional shell elements for the faces. Now we create the geometry for the 3D core, by extruding a rectangle, through the core thickness. Then we put the core geometry in a set, named, plate, for later use. Now we use menu, special, skin, create, to set up top and bottom skins to reinforce the core. Now we define materials for the skins and the core. Now we create a composite layup for the core, using a continuum shell. Relative thickness is 1, so that the thickness of the core is given by the mesh. Poisson's ratio and thickness modula supplement the lamina properties specified earlier. The face layup uses a conventional shell. We use the actual thickness here because the mesh for a conventional shell element has no thickness. The nodes of the face have to be on the bottom surface of the face, so that they coincide with the nodes on the surface of the core. The bottom surface of the face is located at the negative side of the normal vector, N, red color. Now we repeat the procedure for the front face. Within module step, we edit the field output request. We add 9 section points to get results, add 3 Simpson points in each layer. In module load, first we apply a pressure on top of the plate. The left and the bottom edges are clamped. It suffices to support the core because the skins are conventional shells, that are completely attached to the nodes on the surfaces of the core. If the core is supported correctly, the skins will be supported correctly as well. The other two edges, 
have symmetry boundary conditions, so that we can simulate the whole clamp plate, while modeling only one fourth of the domain. Next, we mesh. Element shape, hex. Meshing technique, sweep. Element type, continuum shell, SC8R. The skins are meshed automatically. Their element type was chosen when we defined the skin. Now, a job. When completed, click results. For results, let's look at displacement U3, which is the deflection of the plate, under vertical pressure load. Okay, that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.